Hello, the one and only Xylophony here with another Ark Survival Evolved dossier. And we are looking at the Lead Sicthus, which is going to be a very large aquatic creature, as you may have guessed. Now, if you take a look at the picture here, look at the comparison of the people compared to this giant behemoth. It is some pretty scary stuff. Just the size of his fin is a catapult. So this guy is likely going to be the biggest thing in the ocean. Yes, rivaling the Mosasaur. They just don't know how to make things scary enough for us, do they? But, good news, this guy is not going to be a dangerous carnivore. He's going to be a dangerous piscivore. So he's actually a filter feeder, so he's kind of like a whale, or like a whale shark, one of those types of things. But in this game, you know, obviously, just make it so he eats fish. Easy. He won't go for humans. You don't have to worry about him. Unless you attack him. And I must say, it's probably going to be a great feat to take one of these guys down because they are extremely powerful and they have some cool features to them. So, in the wild, Lead Sictus Convivium Brosia, that's a fun one to pronounce, is probably the largest fish in the waters around the islands. Its meat is also extremely succulent, a surprise given its size. It's often traded with the same value as prime meat, and colloquially called prime fish. Of course, not all of lead sickness meat is such high quality, but most of it is. While the demand for lead sickness meat is high, the fish is notoriously difficult to track and hunt. Between its large size, powerful attacks, incredible speed when it turns to flee, and humankind's general ineptitude on open water, actually killing a lead sickness is one of the island's more difficult tasks. The hunt for an extremely elusive breed of the fish, the fabled Great Albino Lead Sictus, has been known to drive otherwise sensible men and women mad with obsession. As if all evil were visibly personified and made practically available in this one creature. Well, if anyone hasn't caught on yet, there's a lot of Moby Dick references to that. So this guy is going to be your great massive whale of a creature in arc now of course he's not going to be aggressive and kill you but if you fight him he's going to fight back and be extremely dangerous and very very difficult to catch if he tries to run away now one thing is he is going to drop prime fish which once again suggests that the new fish item is being added soon they have a few things relating to this so i think it'll definitely be a major feature. Now the question is whether Megalodons will also drop prime fish. Keep in mind that the Mosasaurs and Plesiosaurs are not actually fish. So when it says it's the largest fish in the waters, it's actually not directly um, saying that it's larger than them. But just looking at the size of it, it seems like it might be. At least it's going to be just about as big. So very dangerous beast. And of course, it says the fabled Great Albino Lead Sickness in the message here, which either just means it's referencing, you know, straight Moby Dick stories, or there's actually a Great Albino Lead Sickness roaming the waters, waiting to be found. So I think that could be a really cool aspect, just taking one of these guys down. And it says when domesticated, despite its large size, and the fact that it may be strong enough to carry heavy loads, Lead Sictus does not appear to be intelligent enough to tame. Nevertheless, some large tribes keep an enormous pen with a few Lead Sictus trapped inside for cultivating purposes, as bits of prime fish can be repeatedly scraped off the gargantuan beast without killing it. So, it's not going to be tameable, so this thing is going to be solely to hunt. When you go after this thing, your goal will probably be to kill it, now, I would be very impressed to see someone's tribe that has one of these captured. Because, I mean, scraping off prime fish would be great and all, but it could be very difficult to do. Maybe if that lagoon was still around that got taken by a swamp, it could happen. Or, of course, many of the different inlet parts of the island would make this possible, if it's chasing you, that is. I'm really just excited to take it on because, obviously, in my series, I take pride in my shipbuilding, I really like the naval combat, and this will be the epitome of it. 
So, hopefully I'll be lucky enough to find one of these guys and take him down, but let me know what you guys think of the lead sickness Convivium Rosia in the comments below. Are you gonna go hunting one, or are you just gonna let them swim away and never even think about it? Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you have, and I will see you next time.